So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Today guys, I bring you something cool. How to get back into the Compeki Plaza post 2.0. So if you're already past this point and you miss getting the new iconic of the Nihan, or if you missed the previous iconics that are in here, because there's three in total, there's a Congo, there's a Satori Katana, which goes toe to toe with the Nihan, and there's also the Nihan, which was added with 2.0. Today guys, I'll show you how to get back into the tower to go grab these things how's it going guys my name is dpg and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe also it's very important to mention if you originally looted old grandad arasaka after his son killed him when you come back here i think his body will be empty but the only way for you to really know this is to do it and find out for yourselves also credit to Crane Games for this one, I mean without him I would not know how to do this so this, this dude's the real one, his channel will be found linked down below in the video description, do check him out and show him some love, he posts some great cyberpunk guides. Okay so you need to come to this fast travel point right here guys, so where I'm at on the map is uh, top left Watson, our Saka waterfront, this is where you want to come to, this point right here. If it will let me show you what it is, it's California and uh, Purse Ring. That's where we want to come to. Okay, so from here, guys, just pull out your car. Any car you can do this with, it doesn't really matter. I've seen some people on Reddit saying it don't work with any car. You need to use a specific car. Trust me, it don't. You can use any car to do this. Um, so I'm just going to use this one. My Hoon. My Ken Block Tribute car. Uh, I probably should switch my camera as well. I know people hate watching... Um, driving games in first person I love playing in first person but hey for the sake of the video so I just want to drive along here guys and you see on your right hand side you got this like bluey greeny turquoisey walls you want to come to the very end so about there and be careful when you jump out because the car will get you let's see if I've got time have I got time have I got time yeah just about so you want to jump on your car guys and you want to use your car to get over this wall just like so now guys, you just want to jump down here and jump over here and just like so. Now we are back in to the area. So now guys, you just want to run around this corner. Just keep coming, people. Keep coming around. So yes, you can also get the Congo uh, pistol, which I like. The Satori Katana, which I absolutely love. And that goes toe. That's a, like the perfect combination if you're using the melee build with the new hand. They work together beautifully. Okay, so you want to come to this point. And you want to come to about there. So you can see where I'm at, guys. And you want to pull out your car again. And your car should spawn right behind you. Now, this is the trickiest part of the whole guide. The whole thing. This is the trickiest part. So you want to park your car as close to this gate as you possibly can. Now, this is um, an old glitch. But like, seemingly now, because when you used to do this, it used to clip through the wall, clip through that gate. Now the gate opens, which is bizarre, but hey, it's like the new people are going to do this. I just thought, you know what, we're just going to make the, the gate open. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to line up your car so your door's perfectly in sync with the door, so in the middle. I mean, it's hard to do this because the cars just don't stop moving. Probably try and use A. Yeah, A, is, well, a on Xbox is better, so the handbrake. So probably a little further back. But what you got to do, guys, is... The car needs to be slightly to the right. As you can see, I'm not perfectly in line. If you do this wrong, you're going to get out the right-hand side of the car. You want to get out the left-hand side of the car. This is the problem. Now, it works, but it's a little tricky. But you will eventually get it down. So you do that, you stand next to it, and you'll see that the gate will open. Simple as that. The gate is open. You can see the angle the car's at. That's more or less where you want to be. People are getting too close to the gate, I think. But hey, that's what you want to do. So once you're in here, guys, let's come around this corner while well, keep coming over here first come around this corner and go into this lift don't worry about the cameras adam smasher ain't coming for you but not in my game anyway so up here guys you want to go up here you want to go uh, but what are you guys thinking about cyberpunk now i mean to me the game is so good i mean i liked it from day one if you followed me from Day one as Cyberpunk. I mean, you'll always know that I love the game. I know, yes, it's buggy, it released in a bad state, especially on PC, but I always loved it. The story, everything about it. Now, if this game was to release now, it would be one of the best games I've ever made, I'm telling you. 
there'd be no there'd be no argument okay so come out, come out the lift and you want to come this way come through these doors jump up on here and you want to jump up on there and don't worry you can't fall through you'll just land straight on it just like that from here guys jump up there just like so and run all the way along yeah that reminds me i need to turn off my motion blur in the film going so step across this exit sign and you just want to click ok on it so it opens up and you want to get out onto it been a pain in the ass jump over there and you want to jump out onto that just like so then we're going to jump up onto that just like so now it's a little foggy but there's I'm just going to skip time a bit just to try and get it like so you can see what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, this is it's basically easy from this part. Easy from this part. Now I can see it slightly is that a little bit better. Hey, that will do. So I'm just going to jump across here and we're just going to jump up there. Just like, well, it's a little bit trickier, but you'll get the hang of it. There we go. Up. Now we want to get up. I'm just going to skip time again, guys. That's horrible. Probably let's try midnight, past midnight. Let's see if that works. See if that helps. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so from here, guys, you just want to stand up here by that light and jump up there. Just like so. From here, and jump on this. And then we want to jump up on these what look like solar panels. But you have that slope we can walk up, which is bizarre. But hey, I'm not going to complain. And from here, guys, we jump up onto there. And there we go. We are back in the penthouse. So just come around here, guys. Come through the door and you'll see the body is there for you to loot simple as that now if you looted this previously i believe this will not be here for you now what i will say is as well guys if you missed it when you first played the game there is a piece of coca congo which is sitting right there i didn't miss that but i did miss the katana uh, so we want to run up here guys i can only do this once t-bug starts to well, you know, at the end of the heist mission, T-Bug, um, you kind of like lose connection with her. But before she does that, she opens the door down there for you to get out. But if you don't do that, and you come up here, guys, and grab these one here. And you come up here, guys, you can go to the helipad and you can grab this Atari, which is a katana, which goes toe in toe with the Nihan. So I'm just going to grab that. It should be a helicopter here normally. Um... But obviously because it's we're coming back the helicopter's not here but the uh, unique is still there and you can take a look at them guys so where are they let's have a look so there's the katana there's tari and you can see right there it mentions the nihan and if we go to the nihan you can see right there guys it mentions the satari these two go toe in toe together now, i don't think i got the pistol on me could be a mustache yeah, i think it is but yeah either way guys there is a pistol here for you to grab too now you want to get back out because if you just jump down you're gonna die so you gotta basically go the way you came in so that's what we're gonna do i run you through it's quite easy but hey they can go and explore this building if you want to i mean there's nothing really stopping i don't know if you can go out that way um but you can get definitely get into the building via other ways 100 you can so you want to come back down this way I'm going to walk along here. I'm going to drop down here. Be careful. Drop down again. Drop down again. And we're basically going to following the, the way we come in. It's the way we're getting out. Simple as that. So be here, careful here, guys, because this is where you can fall and die. And they can go down there as well if you want. If you want to. Woo, shit. I almost fell out then. But yeah, you can go down there if you want to. I mean. That's probably another video, but yay. I think this is, a, is there an Easter egg down there? I think there may be. I think there may be an Easter egg down there. Don't quote me on that though. Oh, I've just gone completely past it. So you want to come through this window here, drop back down, drop down, go back out the doors, and you want to go to that like, lift. Just like so. Get out of your cameras. So, lobby is where we want to go to, guys. This is where we want to go to. So eventually you will land in a lobby or arrive at the lobby and you're basically just going out the way you came in. It's quite easy to be honest. There's actually many routes out of here but just want to make sure you guys don't get trapped in here because that would be <laughs> hilarious, I'm not going to lie. Man, this is a big building. Okay, so 
we are out so you just want to come around here go to your left ignore the cameras come out this way cars gone gates have gone you tell me <laughs> you tell me so yep i mean there's many a ways out here guys but just run towards these rocks it's probably the easiest way and just jump over the fence i mean it's really that simple guys and there we have it uh yeah for another one if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one